What's good? What's good, man? Let's get into this. And I, you guys see the title. You you guys love these types. Let's be for real, man. You guys love RJ Sports Facts because of these videos right here. This is the foundation of uh, my uh, channel, making hot takes, trying to think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? And especially with this game going on with uh, the Vikings and the Jets. Now, as I record this video, I'm just giving a little disclaimer. Uh, first of all, I don't think the Jets are doing anything. I don't think they're making the playoffs. I think the Jets are beyond horrible. I think Robert Salah sucks. Uh, they might get Devontae Adams. Uh, that video will be dropping. I already got the thumbnail for that video coming out soon uh, when he gets traded. But and the Jets' offense line is beyond horrible. They, their coaching sucks. Nathaniel Hackett, Robert Salah. But we all know Robert Salah and Nathaniel Hackett suck. Aaron Rodgers. Is Aaron Rodgers the same as he was back in 2011? Hell no. Is he the same when he back in 2021, a few years ago? No. But anybody who watches Aaron Rodgers can see there's still some juice left. There's still some juice left. And I'm going to keep it real. I, people might say the Vikings, whoever, because of the Brett Favre thing. Ironically, I kind of disagree with that. And here's why. Number one, because they have J.J. McCarthy. Number two, Sam Darnold's balling out. But I do I think Aaron Rodgers will retire after this year? No. I think Aaron still has something to begin. And as it says in the video, I think Aaron Rodgers goes to the San Francisco 49, <clears throat> San Francisco 49ers. You hear it here first. Now, let's talk about this. Before everybody's calling me crazy, conspiratorial RJ, whatever the case may be, let's be adults here. Let's be men here and let's talk about it. Number one, what 49er fan and what 49er fan wants to pay uh, pay Bark Purdy? Who wants to pay Bark Purdy? Bark Purdy sucks. You take him out of the system and put him on any other team, the Chiefs, the, uh, I don't know, the Cowboys, the Eagles, anybody with talent. Let's forget about the trash teams. Anybody with talent, they suck. Brock Purdy ain't it. I don't care about the stats. I don't care if he's been to a conference championships. I don't care if he's been to a Super Bowl. Anybody who watches Brock Purdy knows that he sucks. He has all this talent and still is mid. Can you imagine if he didn't have all this talent and coaching? Do will be out of the league. <clears throat> Reason number two. Let me Let's put this guy up here, too. <clears throat> Kyle Shanahan's job is on the line. After him coming out saying he didn't know the plays to the uh, rules of overtime and losing another Super Bowl, blowing another lead again, like his job has to be on the line. Now, let's be for real. Does anybody have the 49ers going to the Super Bowl this year? Like, does anybody have the 49ers going to the Super Bowl this year? I mean, come on, bro. And in a desperation move, because Kyle Shanahan knows Mark Pretty is just like Jimmy G, just a check down, do your job type of quarterback. He's not a game changer, like as Cam Newton would say. He's not a game changer, uh, as uh, Cam Newton would say. I think Aaron Rodgers to the Jets would make sense. Kyle Shanahan will stamp it. He'll be like, listen. You gave me Jimmy G, you gave me Trey Lance, you gave me Brock Purdy, and these guys are mid or below mid. Let me get a superstar, let me get a veteran, let me get someone <clears throat> in Aaron Rodgers. And I think it's very, very possible. And also, Aaron Rodgers is from California. He's from California. He took a pay cut with the Jets. You don't think he'll take a pay cut for his hometown team, for his favorite team growing up? Wasn't he like uh wasn't Aaron Rodgers a big Joe Montana and uh Joe Montana and oh my gosh, why well, am I forgetting his name? Steve Young. Steve, yeah, Steve Young fan growing up. He's from California. He went to Cal Berkeley. You don't think he'll take a pay cut to keep McCaffrey, to keep Kittle, Debo, IU, Nick Bosa, and to even bring in more people? Hell, they might bring in Devontae Adams. 
who's ironically still in the Bay Area. He's with Vegas or around the Bay Area. I don't know. I'm not good at geography. And also, if you're Aaron Rodgers, let's let's look at this. The NFC is in cluster right now. Who is the best team in the NFC right now? The Lions don't look all that good. The Packers don't look all that good. The 49ers don't look all that good. The Rams don't look that good and injury and they're injured. The Bucks, listen, I b- love Baker, Boomer Sooner, but let's be for real. The Bucks ain't doing nothing. Falcons, it's Kirk Cousins. Sometime like Kirk Cousins is gonna lose in the playoffs. He's gonna lose in epic fashion. Uh, who else? Seattle, come on, it's Geno Smith. I like Mike McDaniel. Not Mike McDaniel, uh Mike McDonald. I definitely don't like Mike McDaniel, but I like Mike McDonald, but it's Geno Smith. Vikings, come on, man. At some point, you know, the Vikes, you know, come on, man. Like, cool little story, but they're not. Come on, bro. Bears are a few years away. And then the NFC East, forget about it. Cowboys, Eagles. The Redskins are a few, few years a few, a few years away from competing. So, like... I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Aaron Rodgers is looking at the NFC like, I can really run this division. And let's be for real. The team that he could never beat in the playoffs was the 49ers. Now he's with them. With a stacked team and Kyle Shanahan. And I think Kyle Shanahan's a bum. But at the same time, bro, I mean, he, he's going to pull a KD. You can't beat him, join him. Hot take for 2025, and I know CEO, and I know I know CEO, I know John Jay and David, all my 49ers people, shout out to y'all. Y'all will agree with me, you know what I'm saying? You guys will agree with me, you feel me? Because, you know, let's be for real, like, come on, man. He's, there's no, I don't think he's retiring, because he still has something left. Like, I watch Aaron Rodgers, he still has something left. I, I granted, I know he threw two picks in this Jets game, but... I think he still has something left in the tank. But at the same time, like, you know, I'm trying to tell you, because I don't see him going to the Vikings. I just really don't see him going to the Vikings because either the Vikings are going to keep Sam Darnold if he has this fluke year, or they're going to trot out J.J. McCarthy. Either way, I don't see him going to the Vikings. Like, it's cool, oh, yeah, Brett Favre moment, but I think he'll go to the 49ers, who are a better team. And I, I, let's be for real. Can I just Can I just say something? Aaron Rodgers at this level still might be better than Brock Purdy. So that makes them, let's just say it makes them slightly better. That's still better than what they got. And Kyle Shanahan has a, let's say Aaron Rodgers plays at max two more years after this year with the 49ers. That gives Kyle Shanahan two more years. Two more years. So it is what it is. That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJL.